Hey y'all, we're in the salon and I'm fixing to give Martha a haircut. <laughs> it's it's a mix of um If my... I'm not here tomorrow, that means it was a bad haircut and I'm <laughs> done with her. Oh my god, the pressure's on. Mm -hmm. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Hey, I've seen Skyland's eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been drinking either. So Martha, what do you want? Your this is her hair now. Let's let's kind of look at her hair length here oh goodness okay so we're going to trim it up she i guess we want to take some of that flip off the bob yeah my uh mullet's got to go <laughs> it's not a mullet is it oh yeah i guess it would be like I it's a lady it be longer it's in the a front, right? it's a lady mullet <laughs> so i'm going to wash her hair and we're going to cut her in the in here in a minute so this is the way we wash our hair wash our hair wash our hair Oh my God, that is hot water. I need to turn it down. Yeah. You... Okay, Miss Martha. Because, you know, having your hair up in a towel is so flattering. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> well, everybody's been through a haircut. I hope. Not live. <laughs> <laughs> Not on video on YouTube. My shop's a mess too, by the way. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on. Where's my clippy? If you think this is fun, next week she's gonna give me highlights. Ooh, that's real fun. Especially to see you all up in the You are not oil. you are not <laughs> taping. Okay, you can tape me with the foil. It's it's the if you use the cap you can't tape it. Oh no. The cap is so unflattering. I don't use the this I one. know. I don't use the cap. I hate the cap. It hurts my fingers at that. Well it hurts my head, so there. Yeah. And you can't really judge your where the hair's coming from. You mm -hmm. can make it more highlighter in one spot than the other. Highlighter, highlighter. Highlighter, yeah. Are we gonna highlight her skinny or fat? That's up to you. I don't know exactly how blonde are you wanting. Well, that's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one doing it. Okay, I'm going to kind of put you even to where you are. Okay, okay, I trust you. All It'll right. grow out. Look. I won't stay mad long. <laughs> All right, look down a little bit. I said I'd never do this. What? Let you cut my hair. Oh, why? Because I didn't want you to cut it bad and then me get mad at you. and Because I, I don't want to get mad at you about anything. Yeah, I don't want you to get mad at me either. Oh, this is going to be the end of our relationship right here. Wait, we got a trip we got to take. You're going to have to get over it real quick. Well, I'm, I'm still taking the trip. I just don't know how you're getting there. <laughs> She's not nice. Look, I'm not looking, but I know this is a double chin position. I feel like I should go. Oh. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look my double chin, people. I talk and you see my double chin. I'm just talking and you see it. Well, I lost weight and I still got a double chin. I don't get it. I know. Where is, when does that go away? I think it's old age. That's what it is. I'm old. Yeah. I don't have a double chin. I have a turkey waddle. Turkey waddle. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I am what I am. So, what do y'all talk about when you're in the hair salon? I try not to talk to them. They they say um, the hair hairdressers are the next thing to a psychologist. Ooh, a therapist. Yeah, <laughs> or, I tell them my private or, business. Yeah, or the, believe me, that I do. I've had had some, but or um, a uh, newscaster. 
you know, they know everybody's business news and stuff. Nowadays, I don't know nothing around here. One of my customers always used to fill me in. Well, I found out the person that was cutting, has been cutting my hair also cuts one of my junior high teacher's hair. So I'm really not going to give her any of my private business. <laughs> so now well, does that teacher remember who you are? I don't know. I didn't ask. I don't want to know. Probably. I stood out. <laughs> oh, do tell, do tell. How did you stand out? No, not telling. <laughs> and because let I, me mind you, I remind was, you, you are on camera. I was very intelligent. That's how I stood out. Yeah, I could see that because Martha knows everything. <laughs> yep. But so, you know, I'll, I'll brag on my grandkids usually. That's what I usually do. I'll tell their business. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're bragging, it must be good. That's what yeah. bragging is. Yeah, well, I ain't going to tell nothing bad. I don't want anybody to, to, I'm not airing my dirty linen in public. That's the worst thing in the world you can do. Oh, yeah. Why let somebody know anything bad about anybody you are associated with? Because, you know, you may get back together with that person, and then you look like an idiot for saying it and for getting back with somebody that you were so mad at. Like right. That. So, I do not believe in that. My own hair's getting in my face. Uh oh, you need a clip? I'm <laughs> sure we can find one. Right? Oh, I meant to tell you, that last video you did, your hair looked so cute. The last video I did? Yeah, that last one, you know what that That haul video? The bittersweet, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, your hair looked cute. You looked cute in that. Oh, I thought my hair looked the worst. I no, was like, you looked great. <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> no, I'm not being nice. The first thing I thought, before you even started talking, was I liked your hair. And you just cut your own bangs recently, right? Yeah, you know, I just whack at them. <laughs> I'll take any pair of yes. scissors and whack them off. And I'm sorry y'all missed that, because she did that one day right before two chicks in a chat, and I thought, why didn't you just do, save that for the video for live? Well, actually, that cut was pretty good. The last one I did was kind of rancid, but... It was my fancy scissors that you used. I know. It was in big three-foot-long shears <laughs> that she got the shrubbery you, with. Yes, and I'm surprised you didn't take a finger out with it, too. Or an ear or something. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a problem. Christy cut her hair. She said she cut the day before. She was tired of wearing it in a ponytail. It looked cute. Yeah, she took a little... Um, she's a... Hairdresser, licensed yeah. hairdresser, too. Yeah, but, you know, cutting your own hair in the back when it's short like that. I did mine this morning. I actually cut my hair this morning. Well, when it's longer, I mean, I can get it. You it's can, like, pull hard. it over. Yes, yeah. I agree. It's it's hard. It's hard to cut hair. I just don't know how you do it where you can't. When you're looking in, a, you have to be looking in a mirror reversed and cut. So. That I do not get. And she must be working hard today. Yeah, because we didn't see her. Huh? Yeah, her and Beth both. Beth is actually working today, I guess. They were off yesterday, so they had plenty of uh, plenty of things for them to do. Mm-hmm. Well, no, Chrissy worked yesterday. Oh, she did? Uh-huh. She was saying, uh, that's what I thought she said on Sunday when we were eating that she had to work on Monday. But she's into a new um, department kind of thing. Again, another new another place? Another one, yeah. Oh, my God. This is weird. I know. She's forever going to be in training. I know. Poor thing. It makes her nervous. and She shouldn't be because she's got a good personality for what she's doing. Yeah. And she gets to do it from home. I mean, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. My daughter started at um, a new job at oh, MD yeah. Anderson. She, she, started she started yesterday. Ooh, how'd she like her first day? It was all in orientation, but her daddy took her to lunch. He met her there at the front door with coffee. <laughs> Shh. Oh my God. Because they work in the Nepotism. same building. Nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> they work in the same building. So. He had no influence over her getting hired. <laughs> <laughs> he actually didn't, but you know, you got to tease him. Well, he sent her plenty of job, you know, places that were hiring there. Mm -hmm. He's forever done that for the kids, but nobody's took him up on it. The boys never did. 
I remember when I started to work at a hospital one time in nursing, I was gonna work there part-time because I was still going to school. And so they sent me to orientation for two days, you know, did insurance and our, you know, intake urinalysis and going over all these different rules and regulations. And then found out later on when I had to use the insurance that I wasn't supposed to have gotten that insurance because I was part-time. Oh. They said, but since they offered it to you and gave it to you, they have to honor it. Oh. I wonder why those two other people didn't come back the other days. I came back. <laughs> but I got the insurance because I did insurance on the second day. Oh. So they said come back and I came back. Hey, the perks of going to all the days of orientation, I'll tell you what. Because <laughs> we used that insurance. Gary had to have back surgery, so. Mm. It was a blessing. Ooh, so I guess I do sit and talk to my stylist. Uh-huh, you have Telling to. my business. <laughs> I told her it just felt too personal when she was washing my hair. <laughs> I'm like, don't you always get shampooed? Like, yeah, but I ain't never seen them ladies in their pajamas. <laughs> it really does feel different. Getting your hair cut by someone you know? Yeah, it's kind of like letting your gynecologist wash your hair or something, you know? <laughs> Try that and see if it doesn't oh, feel yeah. strange. <laughs> well, it's a better end to be at, right? Yes. <laughs> Stay up there. Okay, you just let your hair go and flow, don't you? you yep. I, you open the, the sunroof and roll down the windows. That's how I dry it. I'm messy look <laughs> and then she wears it like this anyway so <laughs> straight behind your ears yep I only wore it in front of my ears on camera am I good yep, I'm looking to see if I make sure I didn't leave any long hair because I get the neck hairs that you gotta watch them Go watch them. Go watch them. When I get my hair cut short, they always have to shave my neck. Well, we didn't cut it that short for you to cut, but that's good. Sometimes I get it that short and I have to shave my neck. We should have done this for our show today. <laughs> this is true. Well, we'll highlight for the show next week. 
Who's going to read the comments? <laughs> oh, you can because there's no noise, no, no. Uh, I'm, I can wear my glasses while uh -huh. you do it. Oh, okay. Let me beat the hair off of you. Really forceful. I didn't put my AC on today in here, so. Did you work up a sweat? It gets warm in here. So I think it basically looks like the same around the front. I think I look like one of your ladies that comes on Thursdays. <laughs> you gave me the same haircut as your ladies there's, on there's, Thursdays. <laughs> there's nothing you can do but cut off that uh, wedge in the back. Which I told you is a sign, uh, it was a start of a shag. And your hair flips really nice when it hits your shoulders. Yes, enjoy this now because it will never look like this again. Because <laughs> I don't blow dry. <laughs> and it'll be all wavy and curly and... It looks cute. Yeah, it looks very good. Thank you, Tim Tam. I oh, still love you. We're going to still be two ticks in a chat. Yes. <laughs> Just one of us is going to look nicer than the other. 